and NC State leading the meet, entering this third rotation. They gave Meg Adler a 9825 on the beam. Now Macy Jennings comes up, another North Carolina native. Macy is really stunning on beam. Similar to her teammate Meg, she does a back handspring layout, but she actually does a triple series. So she does a back handspring, back handspring, and then a layout step out on the end, making it harder than Meg series. Straight to stick. That was excellent. So good. Really nice job. I like how her switch leads her legs are above 180 degrees. The judges are looking from that, from any dance element with a full split. This is such a solid routine for Macy. Gainer full, stuck it, a little pipe down, but really great job. I know she wanted to get that series especially. She almost fell on it last week. So to nail it this week is gonna be a good feeling for her. Back handspring, back handspring, layout step out, no hands. Beautifully done. You can see she piked it down just a little bit anticipating that landing, but she got it, so. Now Alexis Ortega on the beam for NC State here. Bars and beam have been two great strengths for her this season. Alexis has a really stunning beamer team. There's a couple different elements than you see most college gymnasts do, like right there. Usually people do a normal full turn. She does it in the L position, holding her leg at horizontal all the way around, straight to an anodi back handspring. That's a back handspring with a half twist. Beautifully done on her acro series. I really like Alexis's confidence on the beam. You can tell she knows that she's just going to nail it, and she does. Front handspring step out. Very well executed. I love her form in the air as well. Gainer pike dismount. Gets the landing. That's gonna be a huge score for NC State. She's super excited about that, as she should be. Kennedy, it's a it's a confidence that comes from her curiosity. Kim Landers told us she decided to ask her to walk in the office and say, how can I get better so I can do things like this? Beautifully done on that acro series. That's incredibly difficult to do a backhand spring with a half turn in the middle of it. 